Hello year one, um, I'm going to be reading you five minutes piece today. This is a really lovely book. Um, I think Miss Yasmin read you something very similar about Mrs. Large. Um, but I thought I would read this and you could do your comprehension about this as well as your um, PSHE lesson on this today. Um, so have a look out on the home learning um, uh, uh, stuff on the Cyril Jackson website and make sure you listen to the YouTube video that I'm going to read today okay right it's called five minutes peace by Jill Murphy the large family okay here it goes the children were having breakfast this was not a pleasant sight as you can see. Yeah. Mrs. Large took a tray from the cupboard. She, see, she set it with a teapot, a milk jug, her favourite cup and saucer, a plate of marmalade toast and a leftover cake from yesterday. She stuffed the morning paper into her pocket and sneaked off towards the door. Where are you going with that tray? Mum asked Laura. To the bathroom said Mrs. Motlarge. Why? asked the other two children. Because I want five minutes of peace from you lot, said Mrs. Large. That's why. So she's taken the tray. Oh, can we come? asked Lester as they trailed up the stairs behind her. Oh no, said Mrs. Large, you can't. What should we do then? asked Laura. You can play, said Mrs. Large. Downstairs by yourselves and keep an eye on the baby. I'm not a baby, muttered the little one. Mrs. Large ran a deep hot bath and emptied half of her bottle of bath foam into the water, plonked on her bath hat and got in. She poured herself a cup of tea and laid back with her eyes closed. It was heaven. So here she is having her bath. Oh, can I play you my tune? asked Lester. Mrs. Large opened one eye. Must you? she asked. I've been practising, said Lester. You told me to. Ah, uh, can I, please, just for one minute? Oh, go on then, sighed Mrs Large. So Lester played. He played, twinkle, twinkle, little star, three and a half times. So that's him playing. In came Laura. Oh, can I read you a page from the reading book, she asked. No, Laura, said Mrs. Large. Go on, all of you, off downstairs. You let Lester play his tune, said Laura. Um, I heard you like him better than me. It's not fair. Oh, don't be silly, Laura, said Mrs. Large. Go on then, just one page. So Laura read. She read four and a half pages of Little Red Riding Hood. Not just one page, it was four and a half. In came the little one with a trunk full of toys for you. He beamed, flinging them all into the bath water. Thank you, dear, said Mrs. Large, weakly. Oh, dear. Can I see the cartoons in the paper, asked Laura. Can I have the cake, asked Lester. Can I get in with you, asked the little one. Mrs. Large groaned. Ugh. In the end, they all got in. The little one was in such a hurry that he forgot to take off his pyjamas. <laughs> Mrs. Large got out. She dried herself, put on her dressing gown and headed for the door. Where are you going now, Mum? asked Laura. To the kitchen, said Mrs. Large. Why? asked Lester. Because I want five minutes of peace from you lot, said Mrs. Large. That's why. And off she went downstairs where she had three minutes and 45 seconds of peace before they all came to join her. The end. I hope you enjoy that.